What's up guys, it's Grandma Mayo and today I'm going to teach you how to get a good fishing rod and how to get really good blueprints. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do that now. What you're going to need is probably two Plesios. This can be done solo, but it, you're going to need a Mosasaur to do it solo. So if you're doing it in a group of two or three or so, uh, my suggestion would be to have two high level Plesios with uh, one with really good health and and melee and the other one with really really good melee um, so what I mean by that is one of them being stacked health and then the other one being health and melee on top of it so the one can tank it and still fight it at the same time but the other one has better melee so anyways let's get into it I'm gonna show you how to do it and uh, let's go Alright, so what we're doing right now is we're going to swim under the water and look for an Alpha Moza. We're looking for an Alpha Moza score or an Alpha Squid. Uh, those are your two best bets, so we're looking for that right now. Uh, what I would suggest doing is putting more health on this thing, melee, and a little tiny bit of speed, and especially some stamina. Try to get your stamina up to about 1900 or so, and then put the rest on health and melee. But uh, we're going to go do that now, and then I'll be right back. Alright, I came up on an Alpha Moza. Uh, what I'm going to do is, I put it on players only, just so I can show you what these look like. They're uh, glowing green like this. They have like green dots coming from it. Uh, let's see what level this thing is. 64. I'm not sure if this will be able to take it. But we're going to try it anyways and see. And I got a level up. I put a little bit of level ups in it. And I held it back up before I came back over here. Okay, there we go. I got a journeyman fishing rod off of that. Uh, let's see what else we got. Yeah, I got a journeyman fishing rod with 267 and 179. And this is some of the other stuff to get off of. You get uh, 185 weapon damage and black pearls, and that's about it. Um, I'm going to keep the adrenaline fishing rod, and uh, I'm going to force kill this or whatever, and then we'll go fight an alpha squid. I'm going to I'm gonna raise my health up and my melee damage, that way you guys can see uh, these things are really no joke, but you really need... And this is with a good saddle with 80% uh, armor, or with 80 armor on it, so uh, yeah, I'm going to do that now, I'm going to put some health and some melee into it, and we'll go fight an alpha squid. squid and this is the fishing rod that I got out of it a 315.8 effectiveness and a 313.5 durability so uh, we're gonna go fish and I'll show you guys how to do that all right so it's not showing up on a map I don't know why but if you follow Carnot Island you go across from Carnot Island and follow the stream down right here you'll hit a right to go to the volcano that way see is walking right there and then if you go left which is the way it's gonna go this is where the beaches are and I'll show you uh, so let's head down this way usually the beaches are right here. let me take this scooter fast this scooter gear up uh, the leeches are usually right over here and I'll spawn a rex in or a spino spino is usually the best to get a leech blood alright so anyways this is where the spawn down this part right here. So what I'm gonna do is spawn a spino in and I'll show you. I think, yeah, there's a leech right there. I knew there was a leech somewhere right there. I got five leech right off the there. So a leech right there. Another one right there. Alright, so we have our reach bar, and now we're going to go to the fishing spot. There's only this spot out there because it's a single player, it don't really matter. Now where you came in at, it's right by the green obelisk where you'll see the leech 
which is over in this area down there. Come back down this way. And follow, you want to go down the end of here. Make a left. Go this way. Then to the south down this way. You basically want to head towards the volcano, which is volcano on the right hand side. Go down close if you see the volcano on your right. Basically, you're going to follow this river until it leads close to the swamp. It'll be like the swamp leads to the redwoods. Right on the end of it, that's where you want to go. It's right down here, a little bit past this rock. This is my favorite fishing spot right over here. As you can see, there's some big fish right over here. They usually hit. There's some right there. There's one. Eh, that one's not that good today. Another one is usually down here. Alright, I think I rolled in a big fish here. Uh, took a bunch of tries to get it, but uh, yep, I definitely got one. Uh, it's a one point one. They look pretty big, but whatever. This should give me something decent. Oh, I got some uh, saddles up there. Uh, let's see here. So we got a journeyman cash point saddle, which is a beaver. Primitive motor switch saddle. Ramshackle riot boots. Apprentice riot gauntlets. And journeyman riot. Boots, which is weird because I never get those. Get off of this. Uh, oh, I got some stuff here. We've got an apprentice fabricated pistol with 155 damage, journeyman pike with 157 damage, and a ramshackle long neck rifle, 129 damage. Mastercraft pipe, see? Now we're getting some Mastercraft stuff here. Oh, we got an apprentice rock rocket launcher on that one. Alright, so here we are at the end of the fishing. Um, I didn't use all of the reel, as you can see. I stopped some of it le left. Um, but we have a problem. My pterodon with the other blueprints took off. I don't know where it went. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to stop it here. And I'm going to show you all the blueprints that I have. Let me get rid of everything in my inventory. And then I'll show you guys what I have. But you're not going to get Mastercraft every single time you throw the rod out there. And it's not very common that you're going to get it unless you throw or unless you kill all the dinos that are in the water. But I have definitely gotten some really good stuff and a lot of Mastercraft from one rod. But you just got to catch the bigger fish inside the uh, water. So we got a Journeyman Procroptodon saddle, which is 64 armor. We got a Journeyman Arthropora saddle. A Ramshackle Gallimimus. Ramshackle Arthropora. Apprentice Carno. Journeyman Assault Rifle. Mastercraft Pike with 173 damage. Journey, com journey Compound Bow with uh, 173 damage. Apprentice Pike, which 20 points less. A uh, Ramshackle Pike. Apprentice Electric Pop Prod. Uh, fabricated Ramshackle Sniper Rifle. A Primitive Long Neck Rifle. Apprentice Gallimimus Saddle. Primitive Mode Source Saddle. Journeyman knows a sort of platform saddle, just 54.4 armor, and a rocket launcher apprentice that's 128 damage, and an apprentice compound belt with 148.7. So that's what I got. Um, yeah, so just keep fishing for the bigger fish like these ones right here. Uh, what would this be? No, that's a 1.1, more like 1.8 above. You'll get better stuff out like this one right here. This one will probably give some really good blueprints out of it. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for fishing. Uh, it works all the same. PC, Xbox, and PS4 works all the same. So uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you got from fishing and what kind of rod you have. And uh, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.